Bunch. A little short left-handed uppercut. Right on the button to Bud Crawford. Yes. Good body shot, too, from Crawford. Another good right hand from Madrimov. And it's another. Yeah, no. During a recent video interview, Terence Crawford speaks about not being able to secure the fight he was looking for against Canelo Alvarez. Crawford gives his reaction and points out the hypocrisy and excuses coming from Canelo, all of which he takes as a sign of respect. To be honest, that was my motivation fight, Crawford said. From 147, to be honest. Uh, Israel just was a strong uh, opponent, you know, and we knew that coming in the gate. Uh, I don't know. They have their moments, you know. Uh, both of them is very strong, but Majumov was strong. He was strong. It's crazy, and it makes me laugh with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and whatnot about the size, and he won't get no credit and all these types of things. But Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career. It, it, it's crazy, and it makes me laugh. Uh, with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and, and whatnot um, about Jalisco, el orgullo de Mexico. Here is Saul Canelo Canelo been making his own catchweight for years. Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather. Canelo fought a smaller Amir Khan. He fought Jermil Charlo. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with all those guys except Mayweather, even Berlanga right now, that he will with me. He has all these excuses why he don't want to make a fight with me. If it's all about business, then you're doing good business. If I'm easy work, you would take all that money that he's offering you. But he want $200 million for Benavides, and he want $150 million to fight me. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy. Because it would be crazy for a guy who started at 135 to come all the way up to 168. Your weight, no catch weight or none of that, and dethrone you. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy. Because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168. Yo, wait, no catch yeah. weight, no none of that, and dethrone you. So he got that in the back of his head. This guy, for one, he's tough. For two, he's a boxer. He moved, he can punch, he can do it all. I can't slip up and lose to this guy. Then what would my fans think of me? What would my Mexican people think of me? So it's a big risk for him, like he said. He don't get nothing out of it, but he does get a lot out of it. None of those guys were pound for pound best fighter in the world that he fought when he was coming up in weight. So it just goes to show the level of respect. I look at it as respect that he gives me. I don't look at it as disrespect. I look at it as the level of respect he thinks of me as a fighter. During a recent video interview, Terence Crawford speaks about not being able to secure the fight he was looking for against Canelo Alvarez. Crawford gives his reaction and points out the hypocrisy and excuses coming from Canelo, all of which he takes as a sign of respect. Just saying anything that comes to his mind to make itself sound, I don't know. Um, what are your actual thoughts of Majumov? I don't think... He's a great fighter. He's a great fighter. He's tough. He's hungry. The American boxing star became a four-weight world champion last weekend as he beat Israel Majumov in La to take his WBA super welterweight world title. So it looks unfazed, does the champion on the front coming out of the southpaw stance, just likes of which we seldom see. Prior to the bout, there was plenty of talk about a potential future matchup between Crawford and Mexico's super middleweight king Canelo Alvarez. Saudi boxing chief he Turkey Alalshik, who staged Crawford versus Madrimov, previously expressed his desire to make the Canelo fight, but has now U-turned on this. This sparked a back and forth, which Crawford has reacted to. Well, you know, uh, the right hand wasn't bothering me. You know, I wasn't really too much worried about the right hand. You know, he, he landed a couple of times at the end of the round. Where a fight between the pair was regularly discussed at 147 pounds, with Anise regularly calling for a shot as he worked his way up to the mandatory position. But it never materialized with Bud moving up in weight to pursue Madrimov, where he made history and joined an elite club.
Crawford had previously explained that a fight with Alvarez generated a bigger payday and was a better fight for his legacy. Crawford, meanwhile, was left pondering what could have been. If it's all about business, then you're doing good business, Crawford said. If I'm easy work, you would take all that money that he's offering you. But he want $200 million for Benavides and he want $150M to fight me. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy. Because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168. If I'm easy work, I heard him say, I'm easy work. If I was easy work, would, you know, you would take all that money that, that, that he's offering you. But yet and still, he want 200 million for, for Benavidez and he want 150 million to fight me. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him, I'm a threat to his legacy because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168. Yo, wait, no catch yeah. weight, no none of that, and dethrone you. Crawford explained. When asked by Zittle about the possibility of going out on top, retiring as a pound-for-pound -pound kingpin if he can't get the big fights he wants, it was clear that Crawford wasn't planning on going anywhere, but he didn't entirely rule it out either. Man, it's something to talk about, Crawford replied, half sheepishly. But right now, I'm still doing what I do. When asked about the possibility of retiring on top if he doesn't secure the big fights he desires, Crawford remained open yet non-committal. Athletic, um, he, he's, he's got a lot of experience in the amateur uh, rankings, but uh, as you can see, he's... Man, it's something to talk about, he admitted indicating that while retirement could be an option, his current focus remains on his career and future opportunities. No, I won't say all that because I was, I was touching him up with the jab. I think my jab was beating him up uh, uh, all through the fight, but you know, he, he landed a couple of uh, right hands that was telling for the, the judges to go or the fans, but it wasn't nothing that I ain't never seen before. Hmm? Terence Crawford's pursuit of a fight with Canelo Alvarez underscores his ambition to face the best and enhance his legacy. Despite the complex negotiation dynamics. Uppercut from Crawford, his best punch. That little short left-handed uppercut. Right on the button to Bud Crawford. Good body shot too from Crawford. Another good right hand from Madrimov. Crawford's perspective reveals his strategic thinking and determination. Canelo's reluctance, whether due to financial considerations or perceived risk, inadvertently highlights Crawford's standing as one of the sport's top fighters. This potential matchup is not just a battle for supremacy in the ring, but a strategic chess game outside it, where each move has significant implications for their legacies and future earnings. Ridiculously expensive things that he spent his money on. Canelo Alvarez is known as one of the most popular and possibly the richest boxer in the world today. He's got a net worth as big as $140 million, and that's only normal and expected for him to live a very lavish lifestyle, right? One of the ways in which he spends his many millions includes his weight in the MMA. And this is the first undisputed fight in the 21st century. The people until now remember Zaire Muhammad Ali and Foreman, remember Lewis and Holyfield, and now it is the biggest fight in the 21st of century between Tyson and uh, Ozik. Uh, Be honest, that was my motivation fight, Crawford said. It's crazy, and it makes me laugh with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and whatnot about the size, and he won't get no credit and all these types of things, but Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career. It, it, it's crazy and it makes me laugh uh, with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and, and whatnot um, about Jalisco, El Orgullo, the Mexico. Here is Saul Canelo. Canelo been making his own catchweight for years. Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather. Canelo fought a smaller Amir Khan. He fought Jermal Charlo. 
and I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with all those guys except Mayweather even Berlanga right now that he will with me. He has all these excuses why he don't want to make a fight with me. If it's all about business, then you're doing good business. If I'm easy work, you would take all that money that he's offering you. But he want $200 million for Benavides and he want $150 million to fight me. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy. Because it would be crazy for a guy who started at 135 to come all the way up to 168. Your weight, no catch weight or none of that, and dethrone you. So that just lets me know right there that I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to him. I'm a threat to his legacy. Because it would be crazy for a guy that started at 135 to come all the way up to 168. Your weight, no catch yeah. weight, no none of that, and dethrone you. So he got that in the back of his head. This guy, for one, he's tough. For two, he's a boxer. He moves. He can punch. He can do it all. I can't slip up and lose to this guy. Then what would my fans think of me? What would my Mexican people think of me? So it's a big risk for him, like he said. He don't get nothing out of it, but he does get a lot out of it. None of those guys were pound for pound best fighter in the world that he fought when he was coming up in weight. So it just goes to show the level of respect. I look at it as respect that he gives me. I don't look at it as disrespect. I look at it as the level of respect he thinks of me as a fighter. Just saying anything that comes to his mind to make himself sound, I don't know. Um, what are your actual thoughts of Majumov? I don't think- He's a great fighter. He's a great fighter. He's tough. He's hungry. Crawford told Sean Zittle on the Porterway podcast. It's crazy and it makes me laugh with all the antics that Canelo is doing and saying in the media and whatnot about the size and he won't get no credit and all these types of things. But Canelo been fighting smaller guys his whole career. Canelo been making his own catchweight for years. Canelo fought a smaller Mayweather. Canelo fought a smaller Amir Khan. He fought Jermel Charlo. And I'm pretty sure he didn't make as much money with all those guys except Mayweather even Berlanga right now that he will with me. Still, he has all these excuses why he don't want to make a fight with me. <laughs> it's, 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 it's something to talk about, you know? Uh, it's things that, you know, we, we talk about, but right now, you know, I'm still, you know, doing what I do. Canelo, he got a fight coming up, so I never want to make it about me and, and Canelo. Just like when I was uh, getting ready for my fight, you know, I Crawford expressed his motivation to fight Canelo, citing the inconsistencies in Canelo's public statements about the challenges of facing a smaller opponent. To be honest, that was my motivation fight, Crawford stated. To be honest, that was my motivation fight. To stay updated on Terence Crawford's career and other boxing news, make sure to watch more videos on our channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest boxing highlights, interviews, and exclusive content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.